Gobblefish 5 here, and I thought I'd take the time to get into another quick gear review before I go back to making Hungry Hammock Hanger episodes. Today, I'd like to talk about the Power Film 12 volt flexible power panel with regards to using this as a solar power solution for backpacking. So that's what the panel looks like up close. It's a fairly large panel, but it doesn't really weigh much. Probably about, I don't know, 12 ounces or so, and that's not including any of the extra uh, cables that you would have to get. I have had this panel for about two years now, and I've noticed a couple of things that I would like to pass on to you. First off, while you can plug your smartphones in and have them charge, and it does work, if you're moving along with your pack, and you have this tide on the back of your pack, and you're walking, especially in a wooded area, once you get into the shaded areas, once that panel stops putting a certain voltage across, it, the phone thinks or your device will think that it's been unplugged from a charger and your screen comes on. So what ends up happening is over time as you're moving along, you actually discharge your phone. You'll actually end up with a lot less battery power on your phone and you're not really charging it at all. So a, a good solution is, is instead of plugging your phone in directly is to actually buy an extra like a USB charging battery. Brunton sells these. There's quite a few p companies out there that sell these batteries, and they're around 50 ish dollars for. You'll also need to get another uh, 12 volt DC adapter and another plug that would fit into this device. That way, you can walk along and charge your battery and use the battery charge to charge your, your other devices, whether it be a phone or any of the, one of the e readers or whatever you're carrying out there with you. This is a Brunton 3.5 amp hour battery, and from a from a battery being dead, this takes about six to eight hours to charge with my uh, with my uh, my panel, so I can get a full charge typically as I'm hiking along just fine. And one of these batteries will actually charge my cell phone twice before I have to recharge it. So I never let this go dry. So I've got two charges and and I can keep uh, recharging through the day. I also use my panel for recharging my my camera batteries. I'm a big video buff, so. I have two batteries with me that I always rotate on and keep charged, and I charge them with actually another adapter and another plug-in that I have to carry with me to keep those charged. So, this is a good idea. Let me show you actually how I plug that in and make this work. It's real simple and easy to do. See? Simple, easy. Another thing to worry about is actually how you, uh, is using the grommets on this, on this panel. Since the panel has to be rolled up and you, you, know, you keep it rolled up uh, to store it, it wants to keep curled up. So I use a very judicious use of, uh, of uh, some paracord when I'm, on the, you know, when I'm stopping to keep it stretched out. I haven't found out a way to do that when I'm having it attached to my pack. But use the grommets liberally and keep, uh, keep a lot of cordage around because you're going to need it for, uh, for keeping, the, keeping the panel out straight. And that just maximizes the amount of sun that it gets and keeps the voltage up really nice. All right, the next thing to worry about is actually the temperature that you're using this in. Brunton will tell you on, on, the, uh, on the instructions on it, this is anything over 105 degrees and the panel doesn't produce enough voltage. And, well, they're right. And actually, for me, I've noticed mine is about, I don't know, about 95 degrees. And while at 95 degrees, uh, it's still producing, it's producing enough, such a low voltage that it will take you days to, to charge anything. So, I live in the Gulf Coast in Texas, so the summers where it's in the mid-90s into low 100s uh, Fahrenheit, that's, uh, that pretty much makes this panel useless for me. So, typically spring, fall, and winter is a great time to use, for me to use this pack, and it actually works really well. So bear those things in mind when you're thinking about this type of uh, this type of system for a backpacking power solution. Now the temperature thing is not uh, something that is just to Brunton. All flexible solar panels have got this problem. They all reduce the voltage the higher the temperature gets. So this is not just a Brunton deal. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons of this device. The pros. The pro is on this device is that it works and it works great. If you're in the right temperatures, you can stay out pretty much indefinitely and keep all your batteries charged. If you do it right, 
no power problems at all. I could be out here forever and not have any problems with power. They'll find my lifeless body on the side of the trail, but my batteries are going to be 100% charged. The cons. Well, one big con is, the, con is the temperature on this. The temperature as it goes up, less useful. So this is not a four season, uh, for me anyway, I live in an area where this is not a four season device I would want to carry with me. The next con is a pretty big con. The con is cost. I bought this device, this panel, two years ago, and it cost $170 for just the panel. It's not including batteries or anything else. I had a real tough time justifying that cost two years ago. Now that same panel is a little over $300, and I know I wouldn't be able to justify the cost on that, just to keep, especially just to keep a cell phone battery charged. Now, it's a little bit easier because I do do the videos, and I, I am out doing a lot more videos other than just Hungry Hammock Hanger and, and the YouTube stuff. So I do have to carry a couple of camera batteries with me. So that makes it a little bit easier in that I can recharge my camera batteries. And it lets me have a little bit more time out in the field before I have to come in. So cost is a big deal. I really don't see how uh, this is justifiable um, for just a one or two day trip. Maybe carrying a few extra batteries that are fully charged. Or even just buying one of the Brunton batteries and having it fully charged. That way you can recharge a phone for a few days. Um, at least get two good charges out of that. Now, the only where this unit would shine would be is if you're going to be out in the field for an extended period of time. Maybe if you're hiking the AT or the PCT or the Continental Divide and you want to do a lot of video and want to do a lot of pictures and keep in touch. Maybe a device like this or a setup like this would work for you but it is costly and that is the biggest setback for, from this now if I were to buy this device today I don't think I would buy it just because just strictly because of the cost so um, while I hate to say that the pro is that this works and that's the sad part about it is this works it's a great device to have out and keep things charged if you can afford it and if you can justify spending that kind of money for it alright so this ends the review Thank you for your time, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail.